Scott. Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. We are from Group Telev. We want to present about fruit fly on chili plants. Next. Before we start, I want to introduce our member. First, I will meet them Siati with student number 229. This is the with student number 233. Garis Tia Cahaya Nirwana, 234. Ilham Faiza, 239. Isna Yuni with student number 242. And last, Ulya Tulmu Munmiroh with student number 243. Next. Before we discuss about fruit flies on chili plants, we will discuss about the chili plants first. Uh, the first or uh, the discuss is classification, and then morphology and growing terms. And from the fruit flies, we will discuss about classification, morphology, and how the flies attack the chili plants. And after the fruit flies attack the chili plants, the plants will the plants will show us uh, symptoms. We also have the sample case, and from the sample case, we will discuss about monitoring plant. Next. The background. One type of vegetable that has a characteristic spicy taste is indeed quite a lot consumed by everyone. Cayenne paper contains many vitamins that are very useful for humans, namely protein, fat, carbohydrate, calcium, ferrum, vitamin A, vitamin B1, vitamin C, and water. Next. In chili plants, there are often fruits that fall and rot, both before cooking and when they are ripe. This indicates that the chili fruit has been attacked by fruit fly pest. This pest can reduce the productivity and economic value of the chili itself. Next. So here is the classification of cayenne pepper plants, which uh, belongs to species Capsicum frutescens. Next. The next one is about the morphology of uh, chili plants. The leaves of the chili plants vary according to the species and variety. There are leaves that are oval or oval in shape. The length of the chili leaves is between 3 until 11 cm with a width between 1 until 5 cm. And chili plants are served with non-woody stems that usually uh, the stem will grow to a certain height, then form many branches. Chili plants have roots that are quite complicated and only consist of fiber roots that usually in the roots there are nodules, which are the result of symbiosis with several microorganisms. Uh, the flower of chili plants usually grow in the axillary of the leaves in a single state or in a bunches, uh, which in one bunches there are usually two until three flowers only with diameter between five until 20 millimeters. Next. The next one is about the growing terms of chili plants. These plants have a very widely adaptability and can be cultivated in the lowlands and highlands to an altitude of uh, 1,400 meters above sea level. And the good temperatures for growing red chilies are about 25 until 27 degrees Celsius during the day and between 18 until 20 degrees Celsius at night, and the night temperatures below 16 degrees uh, can disturb the fertilization and cause less fruit. And the rainfall is good for the growth of red chili plants is around 600 until 1,200 millimeter per year, and the appropriate level of soil acidity between 5.5 until 6.8. Next. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to talk about uh, fruit flies. Uh, next, classi classifications about uh, fruit flies uh, with species Bactocera spp. In, in Indonesia, there are four genera of fruit flies from around 12 canoe genera uh, of fruit flies. The four genera are Anestrapa, Bactocera, Keratitis, and Ragoletis. Okay, next. Morphology of fruit flies. Fruit flies also have three pairs of limbs emerging from their thoracic joints. The fruit flies has only two wings. Uh, fruit flies have three body parts, namely the head, 
caput, chest, thorax, and stomach, uh, uh, abdomen. The wings that develops is the front wing, and the hind wings start and change up into a blessing device called a dumbbell. Next, fruit fries, biology. Uh, fruit flies uh, undergo for complete change in body shapes uh, metamorphosis, namely to the egg larva, pupa, and adult stage. Uh, adult, uh, from adult to egg, uh, sevens until 12 day to sexual maturations, uh, egg uh, to larva, uh, use one until two days, and larva to puparia, use a uh, Sevens until twelfth day and puparia to adults uh, tens uh, until uh, fourth days. X the male fruit flies lays egg into the fruits by inserting of ovocitor. Um, one female fruit flies can produce uh, to two thousand two hundred uh, until. 1,500 uh, eggs during its life. Uh, next, larvae. Larvae are cloudy white or yellowish white, elliptical in shape with one pointed end. After becoming the third in star, the, this larva stop eating and the larva the fruits by bending their bodies and dropping into the ground and forming pupa in the soil. Next, pupa. The pupa of the fruit flies are inside the puparium, which is oval in shape, dark brown in color, and five uh, millimeter long. Uh, the development period of the pupa is highly influenced by soil conditions. The moist, well arid soil pupa development takes in shorter time, which is about 10 until uh, for 14 days, and after that, the fruit flies emerge. The last is Im uh, imago. The fruit flies imago measure an average of uh, 0 0.7 millimeter uh, until 0 0.3 millimeters and consists of the heat, thorax, and abdomen. abdomen. The life cycle of a fruit flies from egg to adult uh, in the tropical lots uh, 25 days. Okay, next. Okay, the next one is uh, how flies attack a chili plant. So the fruit flies often attack plants in the rainy season. Fruit flies will usually attack fruit that is starting to ripen. The female fly perches on the target and lay, lays the eggs the eggs by inserting her ovipositor into the flesh of the fruit. A fleshly pierced fruit will be difficult to identify because it is only marked with a tiny black dot. How flies attack chili plants? The factor that can cause flies grow significantly is, is in the field. Temperature, humidity, light, wind, host plants, and natural enemies. Temperature affect uh, fruit fly life span and mortality. At a temperature of 10 until 30 uh, degrees Celsius, fruit flies can live and can thrive. At a low hum humidity, it can increase the mortality of imago, while at high humidity, it can reduce the the egg laying rate. The optimal humidity for fruit flies to live well is around uh, 60 to until 90 percent. So the symptom of chili. In the chili, fruit, fruit is often found that fall and rot, both before ripe and after ripe. Sometimes uh, cayenne, pepper, uh, cayenne pepper is black blackish brown or slightly yellowish in color and in certain parts of the chili fruit skin. There are very small black spots. This indicate that the chili fruit has been attacked by fruit fly pests. The symptom of chili. Symptom of attack on, on fruit infested by fruit flies are marked by the 
presence of small ovipositor punctured marks. Damage to the inner pulp cannot be seen because the surface remains smooth. However, if the chilies are split, you will see black seeds, rotten, soft flesh, and maggots, which are flu fl uh, fruit fly larvae. Okay, now we talk about temple cut. Next. Okay, in Malaysia, fruit pests account for 60 until 80% of failure in red chili plants. These fruits originate from South and Southeast Asia, such as Malaysia, Thailand, Taiwan, India, and Southern China and are distributed locally in Hawaii. The fly infect chili fruit from the breeding stage to the harvest stage in the early situation. It's very difficult for the farmer to observe symptoms of chili fruit damage, which means the farmer cannot control it in time. The female adult fly lays eggs into the chili fruit when the eggs hatch into larva. They fit inside the fruit. The fruit becomes rotten and falls to the ground, the larva pupate in the soil. Current literature contains little information on the vicinity and overpopulation of the fruit fly. Understanding this is necessary to determine its best potential and to develop an appropriate method to control the fruit fly. Next. Okay, now we talk about trapping. Before the monitoring technique, technique was carried out on fruit flies. Trapping was carried out first. Trapping is a useful tool that offers a lot of possibilities to the study and control of fruit flies. The species present in a determined area can easily be cataloged by determining their geographic situation, seasonal abundance, host status, and monitoring of already established fruit fly population. The information collected in trap such as number of flies and species is a valuable search for the planning of control program, but also for quarantine detection. The attraction and lures can be either synthetic of natural origin and are used to catch the male insect. Okay, now we talk about monitoring technique. After trapping, the fruit fly sampling was done in a way by taking data from the number of immature and mature eggs, total egg produce, egg of female, duration of ovipisation on fly pests. The bilateral fronts adults were reared from chili plant collect at Chenum Trufen. Newly emerged adult fly were held in skin cake. Adult fly were fed water and a diet of the of these sugar and in plastic bus until isolation. After that, the emergent adult fly were used for the for the study insect were reared in a room temperature at 25 Celsius and room humidity with 5%. Next. Okay, let's move to our monitoring plan. Uh, we will do the monitoring at experimental fields of the Faculty of Agriculture, UPN Satran Yogyakarta in Wedo Matani. An object of observation is population density begins to be carried out seven days after application and intensity of insect is the same as observing population density. And the field layered with sampling pattern. Installation of white traps placed diagonally on the area of monoculture chili plants covering on an area of 1,200 meters squared. Playing begins, begins at 1, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And the installation of traps begins when the chili plant enters the generative phase until harvesting, which is week 1 to week 4. Next. Uh, monitoring the description. 
the thread tool used is placed in the middle of the bed and hung on the surface of the heading of chili plants in a horizontal position. Installation of thread tools is carried out randomly on the area of chili plants. A total of threads is installed on each plot 2 meters by 1 meters at a height of 1 meter from the ground with the help of poles or wood. For installation, the thread tool is given methyl eugenol 1 milliliter after making observation every, every week. The extract is replaced with a new one then put in a thread. Next, sample collection. Sampling using the diagonal slice method is, the, is to randomly determine the place of the fruit fly trap on the chili crop at its sub-sampling location. Past samples are collected in a collection bottle containing pure alcohol. Samples are labeled according to the location and time of collection, then taken to the laboratory. And the identification is, by, is done by cal calculating and lo looking at the morphology of fruit flies to determine the type of fruit fly. Next. Um. Okay, the next one is management approach. First is control of technical culture by land sanitation, smoking by burning and dry garbage, installation of plastic mulch. Next is physical and mechanical control like using metal juvenile or, or Q lure attractant traps. Next is biological control by producing barren male fruit flies. And the last one is chemical control uh, by, done by spraying of insecticide containing active ingredients like simpermetrin, deltametrin, profenophos, chlorpinphos, methomil, cartopidochloride, and dimehipol. Next. Uh, the conclusion is uh, chili fruit has been attacked by fruit fly pest. Fruit fly pest. This pest can reduce the productivity and economic value of the chili itself. Fruit flies often attack plants in the rainy season. Fruit flies will usually attack fruit that is starting to ripen. Symptom of attack of fruit infested by fruit flies are marked by the presence of small ovipositor puncture marks sometimes sky in a paper is blackish brown or slightly yellowish in color and in certain parts of the chili fruit skin there are very small black spots uh, then the last one is monitoring plan plus is experimental field of the faculty of agriculture UPN veteran Yogyakarta object of observation is population density and intensity of insect Sample collection, sampling, sampling using the diagonal slice method. Uh, identification, identification is done by calculating and looking at the morphology. Management approach, control of technical culture, physical and mechanical control, biological control, and chemical control. Okay, thanks for your attention. Any question? Uh, if there are uh, any question, please drop in the forum that has been provided. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.